What's shaking, everyone? I'm back once again with what I believe is part four of my latest video series of me opening an order that I got fulfilled through ComC. This order is 99 cards. It was supposed to be 100, but they lost my Ozzie Newsome. So 99 cards. This will be the last uh, last stack of raw cards that I have to go over. Then we'll do another video with the graded cards and be done with this mess. Hopefully it's entertaining enough to uh, for people to actually watch it. I do feel like you can see a lot of really different cards for sure. If nothing else. If nothing else, you get some just stunningly... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. All right, first up, you've been looking at this card through all of my videos because it's been sitting on top of that pack. But what we have here is our 2018 Tops 1983 design Austin Hayes rookie card. I love 83 Tops. I love the design. And I love Austin Hayes. If this guy stays healthy, look the hell out. I'm telling you. Austin Hayes, man. Buy him up. Next card. This is actually pretty damn cool. We got a 1984 Topps Tiffany. I'll have to look that up. It appears to be a Topps Tiffany card. If it was a traded card, it would be not number 352. So I think what we have here, 84 Topps Tiffany, Dave Stewart, Hall of Famer, by the way. Dave Stewart card. When he pitched for the Rangers. I don't remember him pitching for the Rangers at all. I only remember him pitching for the A's, to be honest with you. But either way, cool card. The Tiffany cards are definitely uh, good to invest. Not that this will ever be worth anything. But Tiffany cards are good to invest in because, once again, it's a limited print run. Anything you can do that's uh, limiting the print run from anything in the 80s and 90s is probably a good thing. Same goes for Opeaches. Get them if you can. All right, next up, oh, my boy, my boy, my boy, and there I go saying my boy again. But Luis Urias, uh, I'm hoping for big things for him, from him. I probably own 200 of this guy's rookie card. Loved him last year. Thought he just, just kept waiting and waiting and waiting for this guy to get on track, and he never did. He ended up batting like 200, maybe. He was just not good last year. Oh, there we go. This one actually has stats on it. He had a 208 last year. Must have got hot at the end of the year. This is a highly touted prospect. Uh, he's a guy that's supposed to hit for average. Not a big power guy, but solid defensively. He's supposed to be a hell of a player, and he has looked like dog shit. On top of the dog shit looking performance, you know, this was a highly... Uh, Urias was a highly touted prospect. I mean, everybody was waiting for him to come in and, and do what he did in the minors. And after last season, the Padres dealt him. I don't recall exactly what, what all's involved in the deal. I don't remember. But anyhow, they dealt Urias. And they're starting Jerickson freaking Profar at second base. So when you have a professional team that's on the rise, giving up on one of their own prospects and plugging freaking Jerickson Profar in for him, not a good sign. And on top of that, he is now injured. I don't know if he's going to be there for opening day. Where the hell is he? Uh, Milwaukee. I guess he's going to play short. I don't know. I don't know if he's even going to play short. Yeah, here at second, Milwaukee's shortstop was Arcia. I don't know. I would hope he's better than Arcia, but I don't know. We'll see. It'll be interesting. I'm going to be holding a whole lot of his card, I can tell you that much. All right, next up, we have got a 2019 Panini Prism Draft Picks. Akeem Butler Crusade, Orange Crusade card. Which I don't know how these are numbered or whatever. I know that the orange is pretty damn rare. Not that this is a sought-after card or set for that matter, but I thought it looked cool and it was cheap. And I had to get 100 cards into this order to get the shipping. Oh, this is a sweet card, actually. You notice I got a lot of Buckeyes in here because when I was trying to fill out to 100, I'm like, eh, what, what inexpensive cards can I purchase to get my numbers up to where it needs to be to get the shipping discount and 
basically any uh, rookie cards that I could buy with them still in a Buckeyes uniform I'm, I was interested in. Okay, this is a 1995 Pinnacle. Actually, it's Score. Pinnacle own Score. Uh, Joey Galloway, rookie card. Red Siege, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's one of the parallels or whatever they did at the background. It's chromy. Cool card, Joey Galloway, another awesome Buckeye. He was a heck of a pro. Not a Hall of Famer, but big Galloway fan. Great Buckeye. Oh, this is cool. Oh, dang, I got some big boys there, kind of, for me. All right, next up, this is an awesome card. I didn't even realize I had uh, purchased this and put it in the shipment. I know I have a couple of these. I wonder why I got this one chipped. Anyhow, this is a uh, 2019 Tops Allen and Ginter. Regular back, not a short print or anything. Fernando Tatis Jr. Rookie Cup. Love Tatis. I think he's going to be the best of the class. He's only 20, guys. Pick him up now. Well, he's really cheap. You know, you pick up this... Allen and Ginter, I'm sure I bought that for like 50 cents when I bought it. So, why the hell not? Dig it out of your car seat. All right, next up, we've got a, what year? 2015 score, David Johnson rookie card. I talked about him real briefly in one of the previous videos in this series. I don't think there's any way that he is. is he may not be as good as what he looked three years ago, but there's no way he's as bad as what he's looked the last two years. There's just no way. He was too good to be this bad. So I'm banking on that. And his cards are like 30 cents a pop for his rookies, so why the hell not? Next up, I love this card and I love this picture. Uh, we have the 2018 Tops 1983 design Sandy Alcantara Rookie card auto. I think I did pay five bucks for this. But uh, as you know, if you watch my videos, I'm big on Alcantara. I like him a lot. Luckily, no one's in any of my fantasy baseball leagues know about this YouTube channel. Because if they did, they'd be able to really screw me. Especially like my, one of them's an auction draft. If people knew... A guy like Alcantara that they're not thinking about. You know, they may throw a dollar bid on him or something, but they're not looking for him like I am. I'll start the damn auction with him. First pick, Alcantara, two bucks. Who's going to bid on that? All right, next up, another Austin Hayes, Donruss Optic, rated rookie card, 2018 Donruss, Panini Donruss, whatever you want to call it. Awesome card. Um... Obviously, the only thing that sucks is there's no logos on it. That, that's just the way it is, and that's just the way it's going to be. So, either Panini's going to quit making baseball altogether, or we're going to get used to the, the no logo. I do have a, I mentioned it a couple videos ago. I've got a, a little bit of a idea. You know, like I said, the 81 Tops No One Cares Montana doesn't have a, a San Fran on his helmet, so... I don't know. If these guys end up being great players, Hall of Fame level players, I don't think the fact that there's no logo on their helmets, uniforms, etc. is really going to affect it that much. They may never be as valuable as some, but I still believe the value will be there if they end up having that kind of career. But they're definitely not, uh, <laughs> the cards just aren't that sweet because of the no logo. Next up. I think this guy is going to have another decent... You know, people don't realize old Mad Bum is only like 30 years old. Is this show his birthday? Born in 89. So is he 30? 30, 30? He'll be 31 August 1st. Mad Bum. Seems like he's been pitching for 20 years. But he has not. And this is his 2010 Bowman Draft Prospect rookie card. Mad Bum. I'm sure everybody heard, you know, he was actually <laughs> secretly before he signed uh, his latest deal. He was uh, performing in a freaking rodeo, man. Prior to that, you know, was it two, three years ago? He got hurt on a on a quad on a four wheeler. 
What are you doing, Madba? He's just, you know, you can take the boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of that boy. Here he is, guys. And this is a WWE card. I don't know what the hell year it is. I don't even know if it matters. But there he is, styling and profiling. $100 shirts, man. $100 shirts. Woo. Ric Flair. I've got a million of these cards. I think J.D. Davis is awesome. I actually just made a trade for him in my Dynasty League. What did I trade for? I traded Alex Wood for him. I know that doesn't make any damn sense, but in that league, uh, after the auction portion of the draft, guys that are on your roster that didn't go in the auction, you're allowed to pull back to your team. So the guy that uh, traded me J.D. Davis for nothing is just figuring that Alex Wood will not get drafted, which he won't, and he'll be able to just pull him back to his team and keep him for like a $5 value or something. I don't know if any of that makes any sense to anybody that doesn't play fantasy baseball. Probably doesn't, so I'll shut up. Woo. 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 That's right, folks. Rick freaking Flair, the nature boy. Cool card. Filling out the order, trying to get her up to 100. Next, Noel V. Marte. This is one of the biggest prospects in baseball. I think he's only 17 years old right now. He's really young, so a whole lot can happen between 17 and a major league debut for sure. But he's one of the hottest young prospects in baseball. I probably have 20 of these cards in my uh, ComC account. Just his 2019 paper base Bowman prospect card. But again, it's a guy that you can buy for next to nothing right now and he it's just the way it is with a lot of these bowman cards you gotta sit on them and hope for the best this is a cool one notice the wood border you know i'm a fan yeah i'm a fan i i can't deny that 2011 tops heritage minor league nolan arenado pre-rookie card it looks like he's got a little uh mullet type deal going there don't he but big Arenado fan, and like this card was definitely not expensive either. Maybe a buck, buck and change. I don't need to spend too much time on it, but here we go. Another David Johnson. This is his 2015 Topps Chrome rookie card. I do believe David Johnson will be back. Throwing down to Hamo. Austin Carr. Whoa, easy buddy. What is this? 1974, 75, I guess? Or 73, 74? I don't know how the hell this works exactly. But Austin Carr, Cleveland Cavs. I don't remember the Cavs. This is a little bit before my time. I remember the early 80s. I don't remember the 70s really at all. The Miracle Richfield, I don't remember. Bingo Smith and the boys. But they're all legends locally, and Austin Carr is currently an announcer for the Cavs. He's the one that brings up the uh, throwing down to Hamo. But anyhow, yeah, I thought it was cool. It was cheap. Cam Jordan, dominant defensive end. Defensive ends aren't worth a damn thing. But Cam Jordan is a dominating defensive end for the New Orleans Saints from California. And this here is his 2011 Topps rookie card. Cam Jordan, badass. Probably never going to be worth anything unless he makes it to the Hall of Fame. Another guy that I am stocking up on, but he is worth nothing right now. And there's a big... What, okay, that's nothing. Hunter Dozier. 2017 Topps Chrome. Hunter Dozier rookie, rookie card. Very, very highly regarded prospect. Uh... Didn't do anything for a couple of years, and people seem to have kind of forgot about him. Well, last year, he played really well when healthy, which was the majority of the year. Hit a bunch of home runs, but he also hit for average. I know he didn't finish over three, but he was flirting with 300 all year, and he finished in the high twos. And if he can build on that at all, I mean, that's... Keep an eye on Hunter Dozier. He's another sneaky one. 
I'm not going to say my boy, but this is without question one of my favorite uh, football players of all time. I've told the story before, but uh, Chris Spielman is from Canton, graduated from uh, Maslin Washington High School. I grew up idolizing Chris Spielman because you know he was in high school when I was in grade school. I remember I went to see Rocky IV at a movie theater as a kid. You know, I was going with my buddy, and his older sisters would take us. And uh, as we were walking into the theater, the theater. Chris Spielman was walking out in his Masson Letterman's jacket. And I couldn't believe it. It was like I just saw Elvis. But yeah, Chris Spielman, badass. 100% badass. Man, love that dude. All right, looks like we only got a couple more cards to go. We can kill this video, get into the graded stuff, and uh, then move on to something else. If I could pick these damn things up. All right, how about this? We'll do it one at a time. Got a lot of Arenados in here. Got a 2010. Bowman paper. First Bowman card for Nolan Arenado. If Arenado can keep doing what he's doing, he's a Hall of Famer. I don't know why he doesn't get more more love in the, in the hobby. He definitely gets the love in... Fantasy baseball, and I think he gets a love uh, on Sports Center and everything else. But I don't know why the hobby doesn't uh, love Arenado, because I sure as hell do. Last but not least, this is a guy I was so freaking high on a month ago. Because it looked like, and he still may, I don't know. It looked like he was going to be quite possibly the starting second baseman for the Boston Red Sox. And uh, definitely filling some sort of a utility role. And what I really liked about the guy is he used to steal a shitload of bases. And this is minor leagues, but minor leagues, 2015, he stole 33 bases. I don't know what his numbers were exactly, but in 16 and 17, he stole bases. Hit well. He played great for the Reds for a couple years. And then the bottom fell out last year. He got beat out by Jose Iglesias, who was looking like a journeyman, who also played way over his head last year, but... I don't know. Peraza's still young. He's in Boston now, which is not a bad thing, even though the Red Sox aren't what they once were. And when I purchased this, I thought he was definitely going to be playing every day. Now I think he's going to fill more of a super utility kind of role, which isn't a bad thing in fantasy baseball because you can use him at the outfield, infield, corner infield, middle infield. We'll see. We'll see what all he plays. And he's a guy that does uh, contribute. And, well, previously he hit for a decent average. He hit had some power but he stole bases and base stealing is it's such a premium in fantasy baseball right now there just aren't that many guys that steal bases so i was high on peraza i no longer am and this is again 20 cent card all right that's it for this video looks like i'm what 18 18 and a half Ugh. all right we're gonna wrap this one up and when i come back we're going to get into these graded beauties, and that'll be the end of my ComC mail opening video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you actually made it this far, I'm quite impressed. Please subscribe to the channel. Give me a like. Drop a comment. You know the routine. Later.